What's up everybody, it's Apex Guardian, and today we are back with some Minecraft on the Galaxy SMP server. And you may notice some big changes going on here. I can't even fully remember what we did last in this space other than building that tower. So, uh, you know, I hung up some uh, glow lights, got some, some mobs here. These are all temporary. There is going to be like a special area for farming and whatnot because we have so much room to work with. Uh, we currently have shaders on, thanks to Iris, which is kind of like Optifine, but uh, different. So, uh, thankfully, we still have shaders. So the changes made is we put in this fancy railing, and I'm, I'm, I honestly haven't seen what it fully looks like yet because of all the scaffolding. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is take down the scaffolding and see just what it looks like. And we're going to get a ton of scaffolding back. I don't really want to cover that lava, so yeah, if we lose some, whatever. Uh, so let's let's do that and see exactly what this looks like. As you can see, the scaffolding goes for quite a while. And we might not get all of it. Uh, but it's a start. As long as we get a good chunk back, we'll be fine. It's pretty easy to get, so it's it's not like the end of the world. We're gonna have to spend some time cleaning it up. But I, I kind of got used to the scaffolding up, and I, I like the way the scaffolding looks. But uh, again, not what the build was supposed to be, so we'll have to see. Yeah, see, it's gonna be a big pain in the butt to get all the scaffolding done. Okay, so we got that whole area done, now we gotta get this big area and then down below and it's, uh, there's a lot of scaffolding. Okay, so that should be all of it. I, I definitely didn't pick it all up, but it um, should be fine. We got a fair amount in our inventory. Uh, so from down here, it looks okay. Uh, I want to blend it in a bit better and make it a little more noticeable. So to do that, I think we have to add some pillars and stuff. Uh, I'm not exactly sure when I'll be doing that, and I definitely missed some scaffolding right here, which seems to be on a block. So uh, I like the look of it from the top, though. Like the, the area you'll be walking looks really good. We just have to work on underneath, uh, give it a bit more of that like manufactured kind of look. And then uh, we have up here, which looks absolutely beautiful. This little lake, I wrapped it around with grass just to give it a lived-in vibe. And uh, put this path, this uh, fence sort of style all the way around it, which definitely gives it that look of like, this, this is meant to be this way, sort of. Um, I, I was thinking this area would be like, I guess just a garden sort of thing. Um, it definitely needs something to it. I'm thinking maybe I'll put an island there and then put like, I don't know, a, a sacred area on that island. We'll see. Not 100% sure what to do. I was thinking of doing a custom tree on it, but we might have some space issues because of the uh, low ceiling there. and. I don't know, that's full of water. I'm not sure if I want to get rid of it or not. Uh, and then down here, we have our automatic tree farm. Squid built us this uh, shortly after the uh, Christmas holiday. And this thing's just awesome. It's temporary. It's not going to be here forever. Uh, actually, I plan to move it quite soon because down here is going to be like a little village area for our villagers that we're going to be trading with. So right here, we're gonna have a building and a building there, and these ones are kind of planned out already. Uh, and then over here, this is full of water. So I'm thinking of draining it and getting rid of this so we have a higher ceiling so we can put more buildings here and have kind of a town center. So that's, that's gonna be probably the next project we do. But uh, I've also made some changes to the casino and some other changes have been made at spawn that we have to go over for uh, future video plans and whatnot. 
There's a frog in my boat! Why? I did this, so it's a lot faster to get to spawn. Okay, so in spawn, uh, I don't know if I ever showed this off. So this is where the egg resides. Uh, and, uh, this was a fizzy owl's design. He sent it to me after he saw the last video, or the video of making this. And, uh, he thought this would be great. And you know what? I agree. I really like it. Looks nice. With shaders and iris, you can barely tell there's glass here, which is kind of scary. I'm just walking on it. But, uh, it, yeah. And we found this kitty. Spawn protector. Also, there was a mountain here. I think I have some footage of getting rid of that mountain, so we'll put it in if I still have it. Uh, but there was a mountain here, and there's no longer a mountain here. So this is gonna be like our community hall sort of thing. So uh, post office, I guess, if you want to send people mail, uh, as well as like special events, birthdays, holidays, stuff like that. We'll we'll have something in here for that. Uh, because currently for Christmas we had to throw something together quite quickly, and our tree's still up. So this is what we threw together for Christmas, and I actually haven't checked out my presents, but uh, we didn't have much space or much time, so everyone's got their own, like, system here for presents, uh, and I haven't checked mine, so where am I? Where am I? I'm, uh, I'm right here. So what's in mine? Uh, two diamonds, awesome, uh, diamond and one named chair, probably from chair, some steak, that's always good, uh, 64 blocks of coal from squid, Help in return for oak wood from Sky. I gave her a ton of oak wood for her project, so we should definitely claim that. Uh, let's throw the scaffolding in the shulker box. So we have some room. Uh, a mending book. Don't know who that's from. A trident. That's from Dragon. Thank you, Dragon. And a coupon for one stack of gunpowder price free. Also from Dragon. So let's go cash that in since we're heading that way anyways. Um, it sucks that it's night. I don't think I have a bed around here anymore. Uh, so this is Dragon's new shop. There's a ton of rules on it, which we'll go over once the shop's open. But it's basically like a strip mall. And everything's going to have like different things you can buy. And it, it's I really like the design. Kind of looks like flowers, but like it's also really good at lighting up this area, and it's very bright and vibrant, and I like that. Um, where to now? Okay, so the bridge is done. Spawn bridge is done. This was built by um, Dragon and Hades. And this is kind of the spawn bridge design that they came up with, uh, and I think it looks really nice. It's nice to at least have it done, because I, I honestly would have taken forever to build this. Actually, I did take forever, and then just didn't do it. And then uh, we have this area, which has opened up dramatically, which allows access to a new shop. Uh, so that one's still not open, I believe. But then, then we have the tree shop from IIQV, which has uh, honestly some pretty high prices. One stack of wood is three diamonds, one stack of um, charcoal is five diamonds, which is uh, kind of high. Apples are cheap, one emerald per 16, that's not bad. Saplings are one emerald per four. Here, I'm going to turn off my mini-map. There we go. Oh, so much easier to see. Uh, so, so yeah. Uh, again, not sure if this is even a man shop or, or what, like if you just go in there and trade and these are the prices or if he has to be online for it to work. Yeah, he has to be online for it to work, I guess. So I, I don't know. Uh, looks like there's still some scaffolding under the bridge. Oh, creeper, creeper, creeper. Oh, I have a bow again. Yes. Yes. Uh, what's on that bow? Flame, mending, power five, punch two, and I'm breaking three. 
uh, infinity is useful, but I have tons of arrows. So the casino, the casino got a huge update. Dragon left his door open. Uh, casino got a huge update completely off camera just because of all the amount of redstone I had to do. It took hours, wasn't really fun to build. Uh, the roulette table is working again. Figured out what broke it. Don't spam the button. Uh, that's currently out of stock. Gotta make some more items. This ATM's been moved and there's stairs going downstairs to the new addition. Which, of course, has another ATM. Uh, this is jackpot, so you put your diamonds in, you have a chance of winning, I believe, 5 or 12 diamonds. And then, uh, next to that, we have double or nothing. This one's fun, personally. So we got 1 diamond, 2 diamonds, 3, or 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. So, come here, you put your diamond in. Uh, you can put more than one, it'll only take one. Hit that button. There we go, we're at one diamond, so we can get our money back. So you can claim your diamonds or double or nothing. If you double or nothing, look, now we're at, we're at two. Do it again. And we lost. That's okay. But yeah, uh, when testing, Squid actually won 32 diamonds. So, pretty sick. We have this beautiful fish tank, which uh, Dragon was going to design, but then I just decided to do it on my own. I thought it'd be fun, and it is. A ton of fish in it. Even a puffer fish. Very angry puffer fish. Uh, and then we got the Tower of Luck. Uh, so these are here because it can be easily manipulated and uh, we want to avoid that, of course. We press it and uh, nothing. Put two more in there. So we, we won that. Wow. <laughs> okay, we won right to the beacon. First try. That's not bad. I'm going to have to put all of those back in there. But yeah, this one can pay off pretty well, and there's some netherite up there too, so it's it's pretty sick. And a beautiful view. Needs to be lit up out there. Pretty dark. Alright, and uh, the last thing I wanted to see with shaders is the arena. The massive arena. Which I need to worry- wow, look at all those potion effects. That's annoying. Uh... I need to hide the lighting and I, I test it out with sea lanterns and like it's okay it's okay but frog lights are the way to go I tested it in a creative world and absolutely beautiful blend in perfectly so one thing I need to make is um, a frog light farm but the but like I don't have a uh, the time to do that this episode so I think what we're gonna do is we have that one frog in the boat we might take him on a little adventure uh, do I have leads no I'm sure I do somewhere I could have sworn I had slime somewhere um, that's okay we do have a lead but I want to get slime just uh, just in case we need to help maneuver this guy there is a slime chunk down here there's no slime in it and there's another slime chunk over here and again uh, no slimes hey look a frog I knew these were here I don't know where that one came from <laughs> okay so we have to I think uh, magma creams will spawn in the basalt Delta which should be right down here. I don't think I have silk touch. No. Stop. Stop. This is so difficult. Oh god. Don't kill the frog. Okay. Okay, we're good. Uh, okay, so here's the basalt delta. So, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna make a little room somewhere down here. It looks very dangerous. And I... Oh, there's already creams. There are cubes? Magma cubes? Perfect. There's a room right here. <laughs> uh, and then I guess just lure them up to the frog instead of bringing the frog to them. So... Oh my god! Whoa! That was close. Come on, froggy. 
Come on. Go away, pig man. Alright, good, good, good. I'm gonna bring him right down here. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. He's here. He's here. We should have brought a door. Because, like, he can 100% escape if he wants to. Or a fence. Really anything would have been useful. Uh, stay in here. Okay, uh, you, Magma Cream, come attack me. Come here. Magma Cube. I keep calling them Cream. Come on, don't die. Yes. Okay, cool, they're fire resistant. I'm not. Honestly, it'd probably be quicker just to bring the frog down here. I don't know if they can hurt him. No, well, lava probably can. Come on, buddy. Come on, froggy. I got some food for you. Come on. Come on. Come, come eat. Yum yums. Okay. <gasps> Yay! That's what I wanted. Okay, we got two. Three. Nice. Nice! These are exactly what I want, because they, they're the only block that blends in with sand. Um, what do I do now? I just guess throw him in a boat? I hope he lives? Put him back in there in a boat? Because there's no more uh, the things here. I don't know where the other one went. Where? Froggy? Froggy? Oh my goodness, Froggy. You should really be careful. Oh god, stop. Stop. Please. I'm so scared. Okay, I'm definitely making a farm like directly above this on the nether ceiling. I don't know how I'm gonna get frogs up there, but I'll find a way. Because uh, we're gonna need more than four. How did a bunny get in here? Hello, little bunny. Hi. Have fun. So, uh, here's here's the goal. I, I think we're gonna put water in here too at some point. Dragon was asking for that after our fight. If any of you caught that, um, because it would help with the trident. See, it blends in very well. Like, nothing else really blends while producing light. So, like, better than torches. No one's going to hit them or flood the area and, and ruin them. And they don't really get in the way of attacks, so it's, it's really good. There we go. Without shaders, that's what it looks like. It blends in very nicely. Or as good as it gets. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's all we got time for for this episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a uh, comment, a like, and hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. And I will see you all next time. Peace!